Know the promises of God. Claim them. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. Psalm 107 verse 2. We want to look at the importance of frequent and fervent prayer in bringing down blessings. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. We must learn to ask our Heavenly Father. In Matthew 7, 7, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, find. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. So we need to make a demand. We need to possess our possession. Remember, God blessed man right from the beginning. We were created in His image. In Genesis 1, 28, then God blessed them and, say, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. So don't keep quiet. Say a blessing. If you keep quiet, your status remains. During the time of Elijah, you know, the men of Jericho kept quiet. And their problem continued. The curse that was upon Jericho continued. And the men, even the sons of prophets, they watched Elijah parted the Jordan River. And the whirlwind took him away. They thought the opportunity was lost. When Elisha took over the mantle and the double spirit of Elijah and came back to Jericho, the, man, uh, the people had learned a lesson. They cried to Elisha. In 2 Kings 2, 9, Then the men of the city said to Elisha, Please notice, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord says, but the water is bad and the ground barren. So you need to learn to be specific. Don't be vague. Know the promises of God. Claim them. Say a blessing. In Joshua 15, 16 to 9, And Caleb said, I will give my daughter Aksha in marriage to the man who attacks and capture Kiriath Sephir. Othner, son of Kenaz, Caleb's brother, took it. So Caleb gave his daughter Aksha to him in marriage. One day, when she came to Othner, she urged him to ask her father for a field. When she got off her donkey, Caleb asked her, What can I do for you? She replied, Do me a special favor. Since you have given me land in the Neckville, give me also springs of water. So Caleb gave her the upper and lower springs. You know, God is also asking us, What do you want? Say a blessing. Caleb's daughter made a specific request. She asked for springs of water. Caleb gave her upper and lower springs. You too can say a blessing. God is waiting for you to ask for the blessings. Many have not because they ask not. In James 4 verse 2, you do not have because you do not ask God. Why don't you say a blessing and ask for big things?